proudly sponsored by Premier Guns. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining me here today. My name is Alexei, and I'm here to deliver you some fantastic news from the shooting industry. Not only has George Digweed secured us two gold medals over in South Africa, namely the African Compact Sporting and the Fitas Sporting, but our very own Amber Hill has also secured a gold medal for us over in Cyprus at Skeet, just at the grand old age of 24. Following at her heels, I was delighted to see Isabel Cartledge. Here she is, look, in her shooting journey, sponsored by Premier Guns, just as a small girl there with a very skinny looking Matthew, moving on to achieving this. Well done, Isabel. And those awards were sponsored by Laporte. Fantastic array of sponsors at the evening. We've got Sports Personality of the Year, Tony Axel, sponsored by Zolly. Emerging Shooter 2022, Charlie Folds. Coach of the Year, Max Tarr, sponsored by Browning. A disabled Shooter, he wasn't there on the night, Mark Delf, sponsored by Soulware. And Course Setter of the Year was Josh Brown, sponsored by Fellows Media, who produce Paul Magazine. If you're a member of the CPSA, I'm sure you get that anyway. If you're not a member of the CPSA, I had a very interesting chat with a legal lady there and uh, gave her a thorough drilling and think that they offer a great deal for the shooter. So do look into that if you haven't already. East Yorkshire Shooting Ground, one shooting ground of the year. I should be going to visit them. And I noticed they put up a fantastic raffle prize. In fact, the raffle prizes were excellent. I was fortunate enough to win a pair of SWAT comms. Here we are, look. Yes, what a marvellous time it really was. And Volunteer of the Year, and the most important people, was Mr Bob Smith. But I had to include this picture of Julie there, uh, put up by Carl Smith of Nottingham District Gun Club. Thank you very much for such a wonderful evening, everybody who I spoke to, and great many thanks to the chairman for inviting me. And yet more positive and promising news for us shooters coming out of Parliament this time, as the animal, ridiculous animal sentience bill is amended in our favour. Jonathan Ginogli, who's worked closely with the GTA in the past, and chairman of the British Shooting Sports Council, I'll tell you what he said about the animal sentience bill. This amendment restricts the ability of litigious animal rights groups to damage the government and those who work with animals, but admits he still does have reservations about the bill. And continuing with Basque, I think they should have a very big thank you for giving £75,000 to the Hen Harrier Recovery Fund. If you don't know how we're recovering hen harriers, I suggest you watch my previous video where I grilled Amanda Morland and got all the answers out of her on the glorious 12th last year, although it does seem like it was only yesterday. I almost forgot to tell you about what's commonly pronounced as Ewa in Germany. What a parallel universe that really was. What a peculiar adventure. Admittedly, I had banged my head, but there were still some odd things about that trip to Germany. So, here's the exhibition. And what do you notice about it? Well, it's exactly like the shooting show, except it was completely dead. And there was hardly anybody there. One thing that did alarm me was all this civilian defence sort of things. There was a lot of this kind of thing. There's a little bit of a comment about some people being unable to make it due to the invasion of Ukraine. And rather shockingly, further along, I saw this. Here's Zolly, look, who sponsored Tony Axel. There were some really nice bits and bobs there. Ah, yes, bio ammo. So you go to the British shooting show, hardly anything. Go and see them on their stand over in Germany. Look at this. They've got 3D graphics. They've got little spinning cartridges. They've got all sorts going on. Here's me saying they haven't taken off in the way I thought they might have done. I think maybe they need to pay a bit more attention to the UK market. That was a nice one. Look at that from Fair Guns. Not too sure on that particular model myself. Handgun grips. There's a great deal of that sort of business going on. Not really my cup of tea. Had a little go with this. 
talk about ergonomics. Ugh, it was weird. Now these people. Have you ever seen anything like that before? Calling itself a shotgun? Well, it turns out they've won plenty of medals over the years. Ah, here's one of my favourite stands. The AYA stand. Look at that, absolutely glorious. I like AYA, of course. We all do, don't we? But look. There's Tony from Ely, that's been sold, if you didn't know. Here's a bit more of the minimalist shotgun sort of situation. I'm not sure I like it. I don't like it, in fact. And then we get to a stand. Look at this. There they are, look. Oh, I saw this from Eternal. Look at that, sort of a revolving rifle. Oh, it's a little bit different. Here we have a load of stock. Yeah, you see, all that kind of thing. This was ironic. Stop war. These people definitely win my own private award of the best logo of the day, which I thought was quite handy. Here's the LGBT um, weapon there, look. Nice to see we're inclusive as ever. There's the... Uh, I'm very surprised to see the general post office over in Germany, I must admit. Best backdrop. Now, look at this. Pieta. Now, interestingly, I have got a video coming out very soon about the Pieta Patterson, so you must get on with subscribing to this channel, honestly. I keep saying it, but you really should do. Where else would you see all this? Interesting take on the hammer gun. Don't like that one, obviously. That's a little more... a little more cave painty. And uh, got one of these. Now, what is this? There were some interesting weapons there, I must admit. Now, what does that remind us of? Well, it reminds me of the Betton's Ollie portrait. Here's a nice one, beautiful engraving. This was my favourite picture that I took in Nuremberg, which I'd like to share with you today. I went to the Grand Hotel, talking to the pilot from KLM. He said, I'll go to the Grand Hotel. It's exactly like it was when the SS officers were there. So we quite literally flew to the Grand Hotel. It was very nice inside. Took a couple of pictures there. Very Art Deco. A bit more of Nuremberg for you. Just a couple of bits. And that was basically about it. Ah, yes. I did bump into this gentleman, who some of you may or may not recognise. So thank you for sharing the holiday pictures with me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed going. And the final picture I'd like to share with you is some city from above. And that's about all for me and I look forward to seeing you soon. If you haven't subscribed can I recommend that possibly you do because it's free and then that way you won't miss out. Okay thanks for watching. Take care everybody. Bye bye. With Alex Sam.